sisters in Africa, a Filipina actress, and I've been invited to share my top 5 Filipino films to binge on during this quarantine. My first choice is Lola Igna. Paparangalan kayo kasi kayo ang pinakamatandang lola sa buong Pilipinas! Ang ganda nyo nala! It is the story of a 118-year-old grandmother who unwittingly finds herself nominated as the oldest living person in the world, which carries with it a hefty cash prize. What happens to the community with this unique opportunity is an amusing portrait of people who are obsessed with selfies, titles, merchandise, money, and mindful of how Lola Igna actually feels. I like Lola Igna because of the subtle points about life and death and the sweet relationship between the grandmother and her long-lost couple. Watch Lola Igna for the brilliant performance of Angie Ferro, which won for her a Best Actress in the Pista ng Pelikulang Pilipino in 2019. My next choice is Sunday Beauty Queen, directed by Baby Ruth Dilarama. Ang buhay ng OFW ay ibigay lahat para lang sa pamilya na naiwan sa Pilipinas. It is a heartbreaking documentary about OFWs working in Hong Kong. They are mothers who are taking care of other children just to be able to provide for their children back home. It appeals to me because it shows real people, not actors, and their real emotions and bittersweet stories. The dialogues are unscripted and the narrative is captivating and inspiring. It shows the resilience of Filipinos in a foreign and sometimes abusive world. How they are able to remain hopeful and cheerful and continue that sense of community and family through their beauty pageants. Beauty pageants or not, they are all queens. Sunday Beauty Queen can be viewed on YouTube via TVA Studios. Another choice is Sunod which is currently showing in Netflix. Welcome to Libora House. Uh, yes, uh, I'm looking for a job. Thank you for calling TSP Bank. How can I help you? Yes, ma'am, I can do this for you. Thank you for calling TSP Bank. Yeah, hi, uh, I just wanted to know how much... Hello? 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 So that is not your usual horror story with jump scares. Its score is about a mother's love and what she would do just to provide for her daughter's needs. Sunod is visually striking. It is intelligent, it is refined, it is smart. It has a call center as its setting in an old creepy building with a dark history. Directed by Carlo Ledesma, let Sunod creep you out with its outstanding cinematography by Michael David and excellent production design by Eric Sonavaro. Familia Ordinario is in my list and is up in Netflix as Ordinary Family. Naglalaro po kasi yan. Nabungo po yan ng kotse. Dugaan nga po yan eh. Ano pangalan? Tuloy lang ang pagkusapan natin. Pangalan mo at saka pangalan ko. It is anything but ordinary. It is the story of a teenage couple, Aris and Jane, played wonderfully by Hasmini Kilip and Ronaldo Martin. They live in the streets and make a living as pickpockets. What happens to them when the tables are turned provides the central core of the story. I like the story and the found acting style of director Eduardo Roy Jr., who also directed Lola Igna. The film is intense, gritty, raw, and painfully realistic with loud and coarse characters. What strikes me also is that it offers no judgment. It just presents the situation as is. What happens when scammers are scammed? And yet you find yourself somehow moved by the situation. Finally, we come to one of the greatest Filipino films of all time, Himala. Ang sabi po niya, darating daw po ang araw. Lalapit daw po sa akin lahat ng may sakit at manggagamot po ako. Panginoong Diyos ay hindi kagawa ng milagro para lamang pagtakpa ng kukulang sa pananampalataya ng mga tao. If you haven't seen this Ishmael Bernal masterpiece yet, go to I Want 
and watch its beautiful digitally restored version. After 38 years, Himala continues to be relevant as it tackles truth, faith, and morality. Nora Honor's performance as Elsa, the healer who claims to have seen the Virgin Mary, is considered as one of her best. Himala is also my personal favorite since it is one of the best films of my Pangra, Span Himalayan. Among its numerous awards and recognition, Himala was awarded the best film of all time from the Asia Pacific region in the 2008 CNN Asia Pacific Screen Awards. So that's my list for now. Do check them out while they are still available online. There are many, many, many other films that I would like to recommend to you, like films by Love Diaz, Nino Broca, Ishmael Bernal, Mario J. De Los Reyes, but unfortunately, I couldn't find them online. So, let's continue to support Filipino films while still staying at home and stay safe. Thank you to the Film Development Council of the Philippines for inviting me to share my top 5 films as of this time. This is Susan Africa. Do stay home, stay healthy, and stay safe. Thank you.